Candlestick Park, a stadium that has housed numerous championship teams, plays host for this NFC matchup between the New York Giants and the San Francisco 49ers. Hello, friends, Jim Nance, my partner, Phil Sims. We love rivalry games, and we've got one for you today. Well, when you talk about the Giants and 49ers playing, it seems like for so many years, every one of those games was always in the national spotlight, Jim. And, and we're talking about two-storied franchises that have won multiple Super Bowls. So when they get together, even this year, both teams playing extremely well, it's going to be fun to watch. When you would play in this game and attach it to what it's going to be like here today, having to travel coast to coast for one of these teams and knowing always the pride it's in each of those two franchises, What's it like? Well, it, it's awesome. You know, there's nothing like playing in a big game where the attention is on you and the focus, and you know that both of you, even if you don't want to give the other team credit, you know you're both arguably top five football teams in the National Football League. So if you go out and win, you're sending a little story to the rest of the league, but also you're telling yourself, hey, we're pretty good. All right, so let's head down to the field now, as it looks like kickoff is moments away. Always a threat, and he'll start his return now. Here is the former overall number one pick of the draft by way of Utah. Quarterback Alex Smith. Alex Smith has physically improved just about every year he's been in the league. And of course, with Jim Harbaugh being his coach, an ex NFL quarterback, a tremendous teacher of the position. And we've seen the improvement. It's been fast, that's for sure, with Alex Smith. And, you know, what a job. That's all you can say the success the 49ers are having. First and ten, and the give to Frank Gore. They knock him down behind the line of scrimmage. Keep an eye on this man right here, Vernon Davis, in this game. If Vernon Davis wasn't so big, you could play him at wide receiver because he has the speed of a wide receiver. And we've seen it so many times. He can take a five-yard catch and turn it into an 80-yard touchdown. This will be second down. Play action fake and drop it. That's an interception. He steps out. And here's Eli Manning, two-time Super Bowl MVP taking the field. Eli Manning, without question, the leader of the New York Giants. He is the man, the elite man. He proved it last year by taking the Giants to a Super Bowl victory. There's a lot of extra weight out there for this jumbo set. They need to get the playoff. Handoff goes to the left. When you look at the lineups, a player to watch, of course, is Hakeem Nix. Hakeem Nix has turned into a receiver that can do it all for your football team. Good size, he has long arms, and probably the biggest hands in the NFL. When you have to get your gloves specially made to fit those hands, if I was a quarterback, I'd find ways to get him the football. It's a two tight end formation. Second down and nine. Play action fake, looking to throw. Reaches in, and that pass is incomplete. Setting the defensive lineups, Justin Smith should be a force in this one as he is every week. Oh, he is. He is. A, he's a hard-working man. There's no doubt about it. Never gives up. That's what he, in his career, he's been a defensive end, defensive tackle, and he does a lot of dirty work for the football team. The pass play fails to work, and now it's third down. He drops back to throw, and he hauls it in. Good job by the defense. Uh, they're well taught, well schooled by the defensive coordinator. They know in situations like this, if it's thrown short of the first down marker, they're good. They come up, make the tackle. Now we have fourth down. The 
Play clock's running down. The offense stops the clock right away with a timeout. Going to need a lot of leg on this field goal try. Comes up short. Well, it ties things up. That's good for the team, no doubt about it. They, they drive down the field. They get some positive uh, points out of it by kicking the field goal. But you've got to be disappointed, too. To get in that position, not score a touchdown, well, you take what you can get. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Gore. A tackle behind the line. As we get a look at this defense, Justin Tuck, a player opposing offenses, always have to game plan for. Yeah, it's hard to game plan for him, Jim, because he can line up anywhere. He'll line up over the center, the guards. He'll get outside and try to speed rush you. Justin Tuck, very versatile. It's now second down. Challenging the defenders to the right side. And that's a gain of 10. Well, I guess the best thing to say there, Jim, is they completed the pass, but it still did not get a first down. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. Third and one. Frank Gore gets it here. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. Very few teams in the league can do this and run the football for first downs. Anytime it's in a situation, third and two, third and three, they don't even think about run because they're not tough enough to get it done. They have to throw it. Nice job of this offense. Now first and ten. On first down, it's back to the ground game. Gains 11. That's a nice job blocking by the offensive line and a really good job by the running back. Seeing the proper hole, gets up in there and picks up big yards. New set of downs now after picking up the first on the ground. He gets it again on this drive. Fifteen minutes down, 45 minutes to go. And we'll return after this message and a word from your local station. We're back now as the second quarter is about to begin.